Hello, brothers and sisters. So King Charles unveiled the climate countdown clock at London summit, right? So it wasn't yesterday, it was the day before. King Charles III attended a key climate summit in London where he helped unveil a countdown clock showing the time remaining before the catastrophic events of global warming become unavoidable. These kind of clocks are there to inspire fear and drive acceptance and obedience out of the masses. They had a huge countdown clock in Iran, in the main square of Tehran, about the countdown to Israel's destruction. And guess what? Due to power grid issues and everything, it failed a few years back. So these things have a way of sorting themselves out too. The king visited the Climate Innovation Forum on Wednesday, where the five meter tall clock was launched at Guildhall in the city of London. The unveiling was accompanied by the launch of 150 similar clocks across London and other major cities in the UK, the largest located at Piccadilly Circus. So they really want to make sure you get the message. The clocks aim to spur the world into action to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius, a crucial goal that must be met if total climate breakdown is to be avoided. Right now, the hilarious thing with that is in another article, unrelated, they've just said that the cyclone bread can actually damage their goals to the 1.5 and drive it up so that they can't make it. So no matter what you do, one storm can go and derail your whole plan, which shows you what a load of rubbish it is. Humanity has just six years left to meet the goal, according to data from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change Religion. The first climate countdown clocks were launched in New York in September 2020. Since then, clocks have been unveiled in Berlin, Seoul, Rome and Glasgow. When they unveiled it, this one was King Charlie Boy. It showed six years, 24 days and 49 minutes. So being who I am, I immediately went and started playing with those days and calculated. Now this is interesting. It takes you exactly to Sunday, the 22nd of July, 2029, right? So it's not the end of the trip, but it's very, very close to the end. And you know, that happens to be the 9th of Av. I don't believe in coincidences. I believe that the Antichrist in the background of the shadow government has everything mapped down to a T for their plan for the last seven years. I think every important day to Israel, every feast, every memory, every celebration of the destruction of the temples where they mourn, the ninth of Av, all these things are factored into big events and big plans to overturn the very existence and history of Israel because they want to throw this in God's face. So it's not by coincidence that Charlie Boy's clock takes you with his countdown to the ninth of Av, in 2029. Interesting. I like seeing these parallels come out. I like seeing them pop up in front of my face because every time when I see their planning and their hard work, sleepless nights, putting this all together for their master, I've read the end of the book and I know I get to come back with Yeshua and see him put it all straight, whether they like it or not. My God reigns. God bless. Have a great day. My king is on the throne and needs no clock. His clock is running beautifully. Shalom.